Hello, welcome back to my videos. I wanted to show you something today that I've been using for many years and I've been helping authors that I publish online to Amazon specifically with this technique. And this technique that I'm going to show you solves a real world problem. The problem is that you're an author who has a book that has recently been published to Amazon. Now, you want this book on your website. You want a beautiful website that showcases information about you as the writer, but also about your brand new book. But the problem is, this costs money. It costs uh, sometimes a lot of money to get a website, uh, a good looking website, to showcase your book. And often a designer is going to charge you for time. And this project, you know, this website project, I know personally can cost hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. Uh, or if you're speaking in our South African rands, millions of rands. That's a, that's a bad joke. But I want to show you something today that is going to simplify your life. I want to show you how to embed a book that you've just published to Amazon directly on your WordPress website. It goes without saying, your book should already be published. So if you're here with me and you're watching this video and you're wanting to know how to embed an Amazon book on your website to save you time and save paying an expensive website designer, I'm going to assume you've already got a website and you've already got a website with WordPress installed. Secondly, I'm going to assume that your book is already available on Amazon, either as an ebook or a paperback form. So for example, here we have a book that I'm going to show you today. Your book should already be available online. As we can see, this is available not just in the ebook, but in the paperback form as well. Now, again, I want to show you how I'm going to take what's here on Amazon and I'm going to showcase it beautifully on my very own WordPress website. And more importantly, you don't need tech skills to do this. So if you're an author who doesn't mind getting the hands dirty, this tweak, this embedding should take you just a few minutes to get right. Um, I also think that this technique helps not just the author themselves, but perhaps you are an editor who edits many different titles a year. This technique is a great way for you to showcase your portfolio of work. Every author that you help, where their book ends up for sale on Amazon, you can then use this, this method to showcase on your portfolio page, on your website, these are the books that I've helped. These are the authors that have helped with their books, and here they are available on Amazon. As a website designer, I also think this technique is kind of cool because you get a very simple and quick way to get a happy customer, the happy author, because with this mechanism, it looks great. Um, you're going to see that there's preview, uh, there's a preview button, there's a buy button. Uh, in other words, it's an interactive embedding that you're doing on this website and your customer is more than likely going to be very happy with what they see. It negates the need for e-commerce, meaning you don't have to spend an arm and a leg getting e-commerce on your WordPress website set up. Um, obviously, that's not a bad idea, but for most first-time authors, e-commerce is something you're only going to worry about a little later. So I want to show you how you're going to take what's here on the website. I want to show you how you are going to embed it, very similar to what you see in front of you here. We're going to see a nice iframe with a buy button, a share button, and a preview button. And again, this took me just a few minutes and I barely used any of the technical know-how that I've gathered over the years. So you can do this no matter what your technical level is. Again, we have a website, we have the book available. Uh, what is the first step? The first step is from the book page, this little icon here, we select. We can see that Amazon makes a few uh, sharing methods available to us. The only one we really care about here is the embed option. I select embed. Now what Amazon wants to do by default is Amazon's giving me a link to show a reader how to preview what's inside the book. Now this is useful. So for example, I use this on websites when I want to make a free sample available is I use this direct link to you know help a reader see what's inside the book. However, where we want to go is embed on your site. And what we can see is very similar to what we had here, buy, share, preview. We can see the buy, share, preview. So Amazon's showing you, if you copy this code, this is what the picture is going to look like. But before you do, I recommend popping down the see more options. And here you get to tweak things a little bit if you wanted to. For example, you can make that picture a small one. Depending how much real estate you have available on your WordPress page, you can make it medium, you can make it large, you could take off the share button, you could just have buy and preview, totally up to you. 
the default sort of embed code is what I normally leave it as. So I'll leave it as this. I'm gonna copy that code. Now, once I've copied this code, this is your secret source. You could stop right here. You could take this code and send it to your website designer if you're using someone else. Um, and this code is essentially what you copy and paste where you want it on your WordPress page. So again, I've copied, I've got an existing page where I want to paste this code. Now, as you can see, I'm logged into the website. So there's a nice edit post. And if I click on edit post, here is what I'm gonna see. Now, what you're seeing here is the WordPress block editor. Hopefully, this looks vaguely familiar. I am going to come to the, I mean, it's already here, but I'm gonna show you how I do that. The sort of plus button, I search for HTML. I paste the code, so the exact same code that I just got here, I paste it into, and you can actually preview it. And there it is exactly as it should be. Now, I've already got it. So I'm gonna delete what I've done here because it's already over here. The bottom line is this will be your result. So all we've done is we've opened up the page, we have selected, we've selected embed, we've gone across from get the URL to embed. You've potentially tweaked a little bit if you wanted to. So again, you can make it smaller, bigger, you can play around with some of those buttons. Once I'm happy, I've copied the code, I found a page or a blog post using my block editor. I have simply gone to custom code or HTML and I have inserted that exact same code. Now, if you want to fine tune, you can technically play with the width, you can play with the height. So often, for example, what bothers me is, is I want this um, centered. It annoys me that it's sort of left justified. So you could, for example, if you know a little bit of HTML, come in here and add in code to you know center. Um, you would have to then close it as well. You could, if you know a little bit of HTML, play around with the size, the height, add a frame border, but that's it. Essentially, you've done it. What you should see now is a picture just like this, where if a reader on your website buys it, they get taken straight through to Amazon. So what you've done is you've made a very simple uh, web sort of page element that directs the reader straight to buy the book on Amazon. But likewise, they could also preview the book, which means that you've got a very fast, very simple preview mechanism where you are able to preview the book exactly as I could do off Amazon. So right now, this functionality is there on Amazon to sort of preview the book. All you're doing is making it available on your site as well. So I hope this helps you. It's very fast, uh, very useful. As mentioned, I use it for most of my customers when I'm showcasing their books in a very fast and simple way to avoid the cost of e-commerce because I know sometimes those costs of a website and website designer can pile up. I hope this helped you. If it did, I would love to hear from you. Please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video.